I had a thought, and I think it would be great if anyone can do this with younger children. And, and uh, sometime when we have grandchildren, I'm sure I'm going to try to instill this in, in the parents and help try to support as best we can. But talking about um, the children saving silver, because silver is cheaper than gold. Silver save, uh, children saving silver, um, saving it whether it's weekly or monthly or whatever, or um, weekly, monthly, and maybe it's for holidays also and birthday parties and, and whatever else. Um, what would that do? I, I think it's going to, because children are tough to save, most children, save cash, save money because they can spend it. And they, they got it, they got it in their account, they got it here, they got the cash. They can't, it doesn't do anything for them, but they can go spend it and they get these, these toys or this candy or whatever it is they want for this instant satisfaction. And that's it. So looking at these green pieces of paper or these digits, mean really nothing to them, but if they can get these items for it, it means, it means so much more to them on certain levels, depending on their age and that kind of stuff. But I was just like, well, if we can instill that when they're younger, like start doing it before they're even involved in it, when they're zero, when they're just born or maybe one, and we can just start supporting this and doing this for them, and hopefully by the time they hit four or five, they want to be more involved and do this themselves also and ask could I have this for my allowance or I could have this my weekly allowance or my bi-weekly allowance or can I have this for my birthdays and, and Christmas and you know whatever other holidays kind of stuff there it will be instilled and then they will learn more and more about that precious metal silver what its uses are why it's good to have why it's, you know, not part of inflation, and why it negates from inflation, the theft of inflation, why holding this paper or these digits buys you less and less over time, but the silver and or this gold doesn't. It holds its purchasing power. And if they learn that at a young age, I think they're going to be so much further along. So I just want to throw some numbers out here to get people thinking about this. So. I did a, a little bit, we're just talking silver now. So if you have a child and they, you started, they, you started them off or the grandparents started them off when they were just born and zero to 20 is what I'm saying. If they did it weekly, that would be, by the time they're 20, they'd have 1,040 ounces of silver, which is roughly today's rate, like $25,000 by the time they're 20. That would be today's exchange rate. And now, over those 20 years, they're not going to be losing purchasing power like they would if that was cash or digits over 20 years being saved. That silver or that gold is going to buy the same amount of goods and services as it would have 20 years ago as it does today. The paper, not so much, and the digits, not so much. So that's one, if it was happened once a week. So did a weekly, a weekly allowance or this weekly thing that's where it would be at. Twice a month, if you're like, no, I can't do that. But I, I can probably do twice a month or get my child involved in this. Do twice a month. That, at the end of, you know, by the time they're 21, or excuse me, by the time they're 20, it would be 480 ounces. That's what they'd have. All right? So that's twice a month, 480 ounces. Still, that's, that's half a, like half a thousand ounces for the most part. Which in today's rate, that's over eleven thousand dollars. So by the time they're twenty, doing nothing else but just every other every other week, every two weeks, purchasing an ounce of silver, they would get over eleven thousand dollars by the time they're twenty. They that was it. Uh, or or if you're like, you know what, I don't want to start them at zero. By the time they're five, I'm gonna instill this in them. By the time they're four and get them back in this so they can start to do this the best they can too and I'll help them. All right, or if your child's older, maybe it's five now. So I got figures for that too. So five to 20, I got these, so five to 20. So zero to five is nothing. Five to 20, done this, did it once a week. By the time they're 20, they had 780 ounces, which today's 
Today's rate is about $18,000. So that's five to 20. Uh, twice a month um, would be 360 ounces. And today's rate is just over $8,000. So that's five to 20, age five to 20. Um, so I, I'm just, and leave these do not include, if, if you got them doing this, and you got them maybe they're age seven or eight, you got them doing this and they're involved and they really like this and enjoy this, and they want to do it more and more, better, best they can. They want to try to clean a house for grandma or grandpa or um, mow you know, grandma and grandpa's lawn or mow their, their uncle's lawn and earn some extra money so they can purchase some more silver. That, that's instilled in them now. Now this is what they do. Now they've learned this skill. They've learned this reality of the value. And so these numbers were not including that they would be at that time they're involved in it and asking for it. They'd be asking for it for birthdays, for holidays, for all those other things too. So that those numbers I had had would be more because they, they wouldn't just be whether it's buying one ounce every week for 20 years or for 15 years, they'd have more because they would have so much more from their birthdays and the holidays and that kind of stuff. And if they're mowing lawns for family members or washing the dog or walking the dog or whatever it is to make some extra money so they could invest in this and purchase this, that's instilling the skill in them. So that's all I had to say about this, but I, I was just like, I just want to get some numbers out there for yourself because this is something I would have wished I would have done when my children were younger. Yes, I started them young, but I wish it would have started, started even younger. I wish it would have started before they knew anything about it. Um, but anyways, you can wish one hand and crap in the other and see which fills up like insane. But anyways, so I, I want to thank you for watching this. If you like this, like, should subscribe, that kind of stuff. As always, stay vigilant for yourself and your family. Get the help. Thank you. Much.